Hi y'all, it's Kara. I'm gonna do a foam roller workout, okay? If you don't have a foam, if you don't have a foam roller, you can use um, maybe a rolled up mat, a pool noodle, or just do it on the floor without the foam roller the best you can. You can use a mini ball for some of it under your shoulder blades or under your back. If you have any injuries, issues, stuff that I don't know about your body, <laughs> because I don't know who's doing it, um, please modify. Keep it safe for your hips, knees, and ankles when we're doing standing work, and your back and neck when we are laying. We're going to do um, some things in flexion, some things without, so it should be pretty safe for that. Okay? So to start with, I want you to hold the foam roller in your hands, okay? And we're gonna stand with our feet about hip bone distance apart, okay? Foam roller in your hands, behind your neutral posture, so make sure you're not tucking or twerking, but the abs are engaged, hips and knees slightly soft. And then I want you to bring that foam roller up to about chest height, and then bring it back down, okay? So bring that foam roller up, and pull it back down. Lift the foam roller up, and back down, okay? It's a little wider than some things we use, and we're gonna push on it instead of pull like we would do if we were using a flex band. All right, we're gonna take this into a little squat. So as you sit back, bring that foam roller forward, and then come back up. I'll give you a side view. Hips, knees, and ankles bend, and ideally, we wanna make sure that the shin and spine angle are pretty similar, right? And then come back up. So I don't want you to just drop in your chest. I want you to hit hips and knees, and then find that angle, abs in, pelvis down, right? Right there, see that nice angle? Find that, <laughs> stand up, let's do it again. Sit down, hip hinge, knee hinge, ankle hinge, sharp arms reach out, bring it back. Do that again, pulling the hips down, the belly in, pull the roller back toward you, okay? Go there again. So we're gonna sit, reach it out, counterbalance, Pull it back in. Now add it with an arm bend and straighten. So we reach and pull. We're gonna go a little quicker. Hinge and stand. Sit, stand. Knees are mostly a hinge. And we pull it in. Pull it back in. Feel your shoulder blades retract as you go out and in for four. Two more. Last one, bring it down and stay. All right, from here, I want you to fold over from the hip, find the floor, put your fingertips on the roller, and you straighten your legs. Bend your knees so your hips go back, so my spine's pretty vertical, and then I look toward my legs. Hinge, feel the hamstrings get a little length. That's the whole point of this. Three, two, one. Now, hold your knee bend a little bit. I want you to roll the roller a little way from you. Straighten your legs the best you can, and then pull your belly up and the roller in. The knees hinge it back over. Okay, arms reach out. And then pull the belly in, pull the roller towards you. Mobilizing our spine, right? And back down, squat low. And then pull up. Look toward your shins, pull the roller towards you. One more time, roll it out. And then pull it up, leave the roller on the floor, and bring yourself up to standing. All right, I would like you to put your right foot on the roller. Your left leg is gonna be slightly softened. Follow the foot on there. I want you to roll the roller to your heel and dorsiflex your foot which means pull your toes to your nose. And then pull it back in, pointing your toe as you bring them towards you, okay? Nice and neutral in your spine. Breathe, activate your abdominals, and then move. Pull it out and in. So we're lengthening that leg, activating the front side, and then the back side pulls it in. So roll it out and flex your foot, pull it in. Flex and point. So we're getting a little ankle mobility. Roll it out, pull it in. Roll it out, and in. Step off of there. Same thing, other foot. So 
and I put my left foot on there, on the ball of the foot, square as I can with hips and shoulders, try not to hike the hip up, but keep both hips level, roll the roll out, out, flexing the foot, point it, roll it out, pull the toes up, pull it back in, roll it out, pull it back in, roll it out, pull it back in, for four, Find out a little bit of quad and lengthening of that leg and then activating the pull it back in. Stability in the standing side. More mobility there. Last one. And bring it in. And then go ahead and step off of there. All right. So now we're going to turn the roller to the length of your mat. All right. And I want you to squeeze the roller between your heel bones. Okay. So sometimes I've had you do this with like a little mini ball between your legs. So we're going to just find a slight Pilates V and I'm going to squeeze the roller between your thighs. And I'm going to do a little plie and stand back up. You can hinge a little bit forward so we're not leaning back, right? And down and up. I want you to feel the zipping up sensation. That doesn't feel good on your feet. You can take the roller away. I want four more. We're going to change it. Three, two, and one. Now we're going to rise up. So now I'm in a little high half toe position. Bend and straighten. Try not to slide off your roller. <laughs> you bend on the shape of it, right? Squeeze, bend just small and straighten. Come tall. Don't go down too far or you might lose that roller like I just did. Down and up. Can you find those inner thighs and those hip rotators? Are your abs engaged? Find your breath, find your activation, and then move. Three more. <laughs> Two. That's trickier than I thought it was going to be. One. Lower your heels. Leave the roller. All right. So that was my standing work. Come down to the mat. All right. I'm going to sit cross legged. You can sit long legged, knees bent. Whatever works for you. All right, I want you to try to get that spine as neutral as you can, so there's no slumping or dumping in that back. Take the roll in your hands, and we're gonna bring it up overhead, okay? Try and find it as centered in your body as you can. And now I want you to think, push in with your palms of your hands, but pull your shoulder blades down. Rise up a little bit. You should feel like you're trying to pull the roller onto the crown of your head, but don't go that far. And reach it up. Pull it down. And reach it up. Pull it down. Really find those scapular muscles, as well as all the ones on the front of the rib cage. Yeah? Hold it here. Now give me a little side arm movement. Keep your torso tall. Make it shoulders. Keep even pressure in both hands. Now, add a little spine flexion if it's appropriate for you. Round forward, reach the roller towards the floor. Re-stack up, open your heart, look up a little bit. Do that one more time. Flex the spine towards the floor. Re-stack and extend. All right, bring it down for a second. We're gonna add lateral flexion of the spine now, not just the arms. So reach those arms out, energy, reach them up, shoulder blades down, and now flex towards one side, come back up top, flex towards the other side, and come back up, breathe, and top, inhale to the side, exhale up top, and then bring that down. All right, we are going to put the roller sideways, so it's making a plus line with your mat, and then sit the back on it, and I want you to roll it to where it's just at the bottom points of your shoulder blades. If there's any strain on your neck, feel free to put one hand or both behind your head, but we're on a little incline, so I don't want you to feel like you're jamming your chin forward or straining too much. Reach your hands up, and then from here I want you to extend back a little bit, and then bring it back up. You have that option of the hands behind your head, right? But from here, I want a little, just like roll that roller an inch 
as you look up towards the ceiling, not all the way behind you. And then slide your ribs to your hips, activating your abs, and come to the bottom, point your shoulder blades. It's a small couple inch movement. So we roll the roller up a couple inches, and that focus here, I want you to feel the pulling it back in, ribs to hips. Lumbar pelvic's not really going anywhere. It's a little thoracic extension. And then pull it back. One more time. Reach it up. And pull it back. All right. So from here, we're going to do a niceness. I want you to lift your hips. And I want you to roll your roller between your shoulder blades. Just a little bit up and a little bit down. A little bit up. Again, if you want to support your head a little bit more, you can. And then hips come down. Okay. From here, we're going to sit up. So bring yourself up to seated. You need your roller. Fingertips, palms are going to face in if that works for you. If you need to, go palm up. But I'd really like you to go into that externally rotated. So palms on the roller with fingertips on it. Sitting tall, we're going to lean back just a little bit. From the torso, right, the hip hinges back. And then we pull it up. So I'm not just trying to dislocate my shoulders behind me. I want to lean it back a little bit. Feel your abs activate and then come back up top. Lean it back. Come back up top. Lean it back. Come back up top. Two more. Breathe in. Feel those abs catch you in the quiver and then come back up. Lean it back. Abs activate and bring it back up. All right. So from here, I want you to lean that a little bit back if you can. Find that little bit back. Your hands can be as wide as it works for your shoulders, or bend your elbows a little bit. Find that little bit where you just rolled it back. Find that spot where you have a little bit of a challenge. Now can you bring your right leg to tabletop? Put it back down. Left leg to tabletop. So give me a little knee folds. Pull your abs in. Hip flexors are going to work. Long through that spine. Don't let that roller go anywhere. Keep your active in those back of the arms, right? Both feet down. Sit all the way tall. All right. So from here, we're going to take the roller. I have it on my left side, whichever side works for you. Put your hand on the roller. Your free hand's going up to the sky. We're going to do a mermaid now. So I want you to start with the elbow bent in line with your torso. We're going to roll the roller away down towards your wrist and side bend, and then reach back, okay? So we're rolling the roller away, and we're flexing our spine sideways, coming back up. I want one more. Flex over, and then reach your top hand forward like you're reaching to the opposite side of the roller. Rotate back to neutral, and come up tall. Same thing, other side. I'm gonna give you a side view on this one, or front view, I guess. So my arm starts bent, my free arm is out, and as I roll that roller away, I'm going to side bend over and then come up top. Do that again. Roll the roller away as you side bend over, activate that armpit and lat to come up. Side bend over and hold and then reach that top arm forward like you're reaching to the end of the roller. Come back to the side bend and all the way top. All right. From here, we're going to go to some... Actually, I have a black roller and a black mat. Sorry, it's not very visible. We're going to lay on our back. I'm going to head towards the door so I can go too far. <laughs> okay. So I want your rollers to be uh, crossways on your mat and your arches on the roller. Press your hands down into the floor. I like my legs all the way zipped together on this one. I'm going to start with it kind of just in the middle of my arch. Pressing down into the floor, I'm going to hover your hips two inches off the mat. You can barely slide your hand under it, right? And then drop it back down. Okay? Do that again, just a little hover. Just hover those hips. Neutral spine, so don't tuck. And then roll the roller a couple inches away, a couple inches in. It's small, don't let it go anywhere. Heel bone to ball of the foot. It's hamstrings, it's core. And again, just that hover, right? Three, two, one, hips down. All right. Readjust your foot if you need to. You can separate your feet a little bit so they're like six bone distance apart instead of glued together. We're going to come to a full bridge. Your job, <laughs> only thing I care about right now is don't let the roller go anywhere. If you can articulate your spine, do that. If you prefer to hinge, do that. All right? I'm going to peel up because my body likes that. 
I'm going to go posterior tilt to the pelvis, imprinting my spine, roll through my imprint to the moment points of my shoulder blades. I didn't let my roller go anywhere. And then on my exhale, I'm going to melt it back down, reversing that articulation. All right, so we're peeling up like a snake. We're straining the pearls off the counter. You pick. <laughs> but we're peeling up. Slither that spine off of the mat. Reach up, knees over toes. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And then melt your spine down with control. All right, you ready to add the hamstring curls? <laughs> Maybe. All right, feet still. Now, peel yourself up or lift yourself up, whichever option you chose. You're on the shoulder blades, not on your head. All right, now, roll the roller two inches away from you, two inches towards you. So it stays on your foot. Don't let it get away and roll up your Achilles. Hamstring curl. That abs need to be compressing on the front side, opening your hips. I eat those hamstrings for three, two, one, and then lower your spine down. Straighten your legs all the way out. Take a moment. All right. So from here, I want you to take the left leg, keep it long. I have like the, the calf, so it's not on my actual Achilles tendon, but on my calf. And then right leg's going up to the sky. You can keep it bent if you need a little bit less pull on your hamstring. We're going to do our one leg circle. So first, breathe in. Connect those abdominals, activate, and now we're going to disassociate that hip and that pelvis. So we're going to rotate circle. Circle. Breathe in and out. Keep pushing down into that roller so that other hip activates. Pause at the top. Reverse. Go away from your body and across. Like you're tracing the ceiling fan on the ceiling. Keeping that other hip still. One more circle. Bend that knee, find it on the roller, on your calf. Bring the other leg up, either keep it bent at tabletop or straighten it up, long through the spine. Breathe in, activate your abs, and then circle across your body and up for one. Two, three more. Three, circle up four, last one. Pause, go the other way. Down, around, and up one. Two. And up. All right. Bend it and bring it down. All right. I'm going to challenge you to roll up here. This is not easy, and I'm not always the best at these, I'll admit it, but I've been working on it as we've been through this whole core in team, right? Take a big inhale. As you exhale, use your arms to push off the floor if you need to. I'm going to exhale as I go through my spine. And reach towards my toes. And then I'm going to roll it back down. The roller's just moving from like my calf towards my heel. As I roll the spine down, reach up, inhale. If you have spine stuff, this isn't the best move for you, but you can just hinge and stretch, right? We're going to do two more. Roll it down. Roller moves a little bit towards my heel bone. And then as I roll up, and I go through the back, and the roller moves just a couple inches. Roll it back down. Breathe one more time. Bring it up. Reach it forward. All right. Now we're going to roll the roller so it's under our knees. Okay? So it's right under, like, bend my knee. And then I'm going to roll the roller back with me. So my fingertips are going to go on the roller. And I'm going to go do that half roll back. And then sit back up. So fingers. So I'm going to start with like my heel on the hand on the roller. And then as I roll back, my fingertip ends up on the roller. And then I'm going to sit it back up top. So roll it back. And sit it up. Roll it back. And sit top. Two more. Roll it back. And up. Keep those heels planted. Roll it back, back, back. Hold it there. Hold it there. Move the roller an inch and back. An inch from the belly. Three, two, one. <laughs> and sit all the way up. I hope you felt your abs. All right. The roller now is going to go long ways on our abs. I'm going to sit my tail at one end of it, and I want to lay back on the roller. I want it to take the full length of your spine. So if your head's sticking off the end, please scoot yourself down 
so that this your skull bones can be touching the roller. All right, so find that alignment, and then you can just breathe there for a second. <laughs> All right, reach your hand up to the sky. Pull the abs in, keep that spine neutral. Just a little abdominal compression. Keep your knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Give me an arm scissor, an arm scissor. Feel the rib cage connected on the front, and you give me the scissor. You're gonna feel a little weevil wobble side to side. You're gonna try to minimize that with your abdominals. And every time I turn my head to the camera, I increase my wheel wobble. All right, both hands to the sky. Now, keep your hands to the sky. Can you straighten your left leg long? Keep the right leg bent. Now take the left arm overhead and the right arm down. And scissor there. Now can you lift that foot? Just hover it off the floor. Mm -hmm. It's just barely off of the mat. One more. Both hands down, bring that foot down. All right, you saw my roller moving. It's gonna move. The challenge is finding your stability back, okay? So you can always put your hands on the floor, find that long spine, try to minimize that roller. Push down with the bent left leg, my right leg is long. I'm gonna start my scissors and then I'm gonna try to lift that leg just off the floor a little bit. So that long line of my abs and as my opposite hand goes overhead, I'm going to feel that diagonal sling across the front of my body. One more. Hands come down, foot comes back down. I hope we felt that little stability challenge. All right, so from here, if you need to keep your head and shoulders down, please do so. If you want to come up, I'm going to do a little bit of flexion. Ribs to hips, low back stays still. I'm going to just slide up. A little bit and then back down so I want to move like I'm peeling my thoracic spine up and then bring it back down if your roller is too firm and this does not feel good stay down this is the last one that was just to kind of warm up if you do want to come there later staying down is fine all right so hands can stay down for this first version right bring your right leg to tabletop your left leg to tabletop. Your hand should be V'd on the floor next to you so that your roller doesn't roll away. Okay, toe taps. So tighten up the belly, neutral spine, keep those abs drawn in, tap the floor, come back to tabletop. Tap the floor, tabletop. You don't have to touch the floor, you are elevated, but go to the range that works for you. One more each side. Feel those deep abdominals compressing to stabilize you. Meet me in tabletop. All right, so we're gonna take single leg stretch. One leg out, one leg bent, and switch. Keep your head down, neutral spine. Find the challenge of stabilizing as you have a short and a long lever in opposition. Last one, bring it in. Bring them both down to the floor. And then after I do that, I like to do a little just up in my hips and then bring it down. So just a little baby bridge. Okay. I am going to take my left hand out to the floor to the side and that V and my left leg up to tabletop. My right hand is going to go behind my head. You might know where we're going here. Keep your right foot on the floor and you can widen it out if you feel more wobbly, but plant that heel. Find a hamstring pulling that right hip and heel together. That's going to help you anchor. I already felt my right side oblique kick in, right? Now keep that left leg still and then rotate up a little bit. If you want a little more, you can take the leg out and in as long as you don't come off your roller. Three, two, and one. Put that foot down, switch your hands, now bring the right leg to tabletop and then pull that left heel in. So I want those hamstrings active and that abdominal oblique active, yeah? Okay, and then we get a little lift here. A little lift. If it's not appropriate for you, you keep the head down, right? Now maybe we add out and in. Maybe that fingertips on the floor is now like hovering over a little cupcake and you're not smashing the frosting. 
or you have your hand firmly planted, find where you feel stable for three, two, and one, and bring it down. Both hands down, give me that little baby bridge, open up your hips, lengthen, should feel nice to open that up, and bring it back down. All right, both hands on the floor, head stays down. Bring your legs to tabletop. We did the toe tap, so basically this is the advanced toe tap or scissors. So find your stability, right? So pick your arm position. Now take one arm down towards the floor, one, or sorry, one arm, one leg down towards the floor, one leg to the sky, and switch. You might go a little lower with the reaching leg and not as high with the top leg. That's normal. Only go as far as you can keep back and pelvis still. I don't want you to make anything bad here. I want you to feel the length and then the switch. Last time, both legs up and then rotate them out. Zip your heels together and give me a little lower and lift. You find the angle that you don't lose your back position. You should feel, you'll feel right away if you start to pop off of that roller. So all the points touching the back when you start should keep touching as you go down. Three more. And two. Last time. Bend your knees and find the floor. All right, we are gonna come up off of here. So I'm gonna bring myself up to seated and then my roller, okay? So, straddling your roller, which may mean you have to have it closer to your ankles, that's fine. All right, so another version of our spine stretch forward. We're gonna start and we're just gonna roll the roller forward, pull your belly in, stretch out that back. This should feel really nice right now. And then bring it back up. Do that one more time. Round it forward and bring it back up. Okay, I wanna try soft. So I'm gonna take my right hand, put it on the roller by my left leg. And my other arm is just gonna reach, twisted, rotated behind me. And I'm gonna roll it forward and pull it back up. Roll it forward and pull it back up. Two more times. A little saw. But maybe our saw is more of a pizza roller because <laughs> it rolls away. Roll it forward, bring it up. Slice your pizza. You're, you're earning it. <laughs> Last two, reach as you fold forward. And bring it all the way up. All right. So what I would like you to do now is put your hands on the roller. I want your thumbs with your fingers, and I want you to think, peel the hand kind of on top so your fingertips are going down. And we're going to find as neutral as the position as you can there, right? And then we're going to protract, retract again. Okay, so let your shoulder just kind of drop and then squeeze them up. Now find that connection. And I want you to feel like you're trying to break the roller, kind of pulling down. You should feel those armpits, like those shoulder blades just anchor on your back, okay? So it's like you're unscrewing that jar lid, right? Hover your knees. Bring it back down. That may be enough for you. I'm going to go to a full plank. Shoulders strong, shoulder blades connected, lengthen your legs to a plank, right there. Challenge of the stability of the roller, can you lift a leg and put it back down? Just a little heel lift and lower. One more each side. Knees come down, stretch it out, let your wrist flex over the roller and then pull it back in. Do that one more time. Reach it out, let your wrists flop over the roller so they go into a flex position instead of extended. And then bring it back up. All right. Another fun challenge is our knee stretch plank, if you will. So this is the one that's like the jackrabbit or really you may do it with gliding discs sometime. You can be on your forearms if you need to. You have a little more room to move if you're on your hands. So we're gonna get strong shoulders, core lifted, your roller is um, a little bit above your ankle on your shin. And we're gonna press it back a little bit and in. Focus on the in. If your shin doesn't like this, go ahead and get off of there. Just do a plank again. Five. Keep pushing away from the floor. Keep the shoulder blades connected on your back. Last one. 
Knees come down and remove your roller. All right. So I want have a version of side plank I want you to do. We're gonna go forearm on the mat. And I want the roller kind of just barely above that hip bone where your hip hinges here. And then your knees are both bent. And if you put your hand in the hip crease, like right there where they bend, that, I want you to have that spot, right? Okay, so we're actually gonna think lift off of the roller. Your top hand can be on there so it doesn't go anywhere. And I just want you to lift forward a little bit and then find the roller again. So it's right on your glute med, yeah? And then extend your hips to press forward. All right, we're gonna add a clamshell as you do that. So strong in that shoulder the, of the arm on the floor. And then we're just gonna think we're resting on the roller so we don't have as far to go. And then as you go up, give me a clam and then sit back to the roller. This can be done on a little ball as well. And we go up and down, toes stay touching. And then open and close. If you feel safe moving that roller, reach that arm out and then give me a little row back. So you're reaching and then we're activating the whole posterior chain. Four, you'll feel hamstrings and glutes, lateral hips. Last one, and bring it down. And then release. Something different, right? That was my goal. All right. So, right on that hip, right above your hip bone, knees are a little bit forward, legs stacked, hip crease here. Elbow and forearm on the mat, elbow right under your shoulder. So we just start with just extending and coming back down. You can hold that roller just lightly with the hands so it doesn't go anywhere. And I just want you to think, push the pelvis forward a little bit and back down, strong in that shoulder. See if you can add the clamshell. Find the roller, off the roller. Get a little massage on that hip <laughs> every time you come down. If you want to reach and pull, you'll feel the scapula connect on the back as you squeeze the booty. Give me three more. Three, two, and one, and bring it all the way down. That's a sneaky way to get a little bit of lateral hip. All right. So, from here, I want the roller on, on top of your shins, sitting tall, knees can go bent or straight, whatever works for you. Knees, if you're tightening the hips, just bend your knees a little bit, okay? This is going to be about the arm work again. So we're going to pull the roller back, and we're going to push it forward. I want you to feel the scapula connect and reach. And now we're going to think bow and arrow-ish, okay? I want you to sit tall and hinge back a little bit if you can. If you need to stay all the way vertical, do so. So reach your roller out, and then we can pull the right side in and the left side shifts. So now you really are like in your kayak, right? <laughs> pull your oars. Pull it back. You're feeling those shoulder blades, right? We warmed them up a couple times before we started the rotation at it. Rotate and pull. Rotate and pull. I want two more on each side, pull it back. So you're hugging that lower and you rotate and pull the elbow back. Here's your last one. Reach, roll around your shins, walk your hands into the width of your legs and roll it down towards your toes. Stretch out your shoulders, nod your chin a little bit forward and then three stack. All right, I hope you're doing okay. I'm not going very much longer, I promise. Okay, so now that roller is gonna go back behind our tail again, okay? So this is our reverse plank. If this does not work for your wrist, just put your hands on the floor or go forearms. This is our leg pull plank, so both legs go straight out. If you need a mod, keep your knees bent and do it like you're doing a reverse plank. So heel the hand on top of the roller, fingertips coming down. We're gonna get strong in the shoulders, so we need to get those shoulder blades down. Lift your pelvis into that reverse plank. And then bring it back down. Okay? So if you want a little bit more shoulder room, give yourself a couple, like a fist distance between your hips and the ruler. And you won't have as much of a strain on that shoulder. So press down first. Shoulders down. Think abs. And then open. 
Eye gaze goes slightly forward. Pull your shoulder blades down on your back. Activate your glutes. And then lower back down. Option to add the leg pull. If it's not appropriate for you, keep your feet on the floor. Or you can go into the crab walk version, right? So legs out long, shoulders down. I have that roller a little bit away from me because I have pretty long arms. And then I'm going to come up with as neutral of a wrist as I can. Three kick and pulls. Leg goes down. Abs tight, glutes tight, other leg. Strong those shoulders still, right? And hips come down. Make your palms face the other way. Roll the roller away. Open your heart like a little chest expansion. Bring the roller back in. Do that again. Just press it away. Open and look up. And then pull it in. Almost like a little bicep curl. Pull it in. And release it. All right. Four point kneel position, like you're going to crawl. I need the roller to be in front of your knees, not between them. Okay. One hand on the floor, one hand on the roller. And then we're just going to do like karate chop hand on the roller. And then I want you to roll it towards your other hand and back. Okay. Just like that. And then you, you have the option of turning your shoulder and bringing it back in. You can widen where that hand is if you want to go a little further. Threading that needle. Feel that stretch in the shoulder. Bend your elbow to come back. So you're not dislocating anything, right? So I got an elbow bent and a little karate chop hand. And then threading my needle, rolling it through. Ah, feels good. Bring it back in. One more time on that side. Reach it. You can bend the elbow of the support arm to go a little further. So it works for your body. Okay? Same thing on the other side. So make sure the roller isn't too close to you. Karate chop it right at the edge of my fingers. And then I'm going to roll it over and back a couple times, right? Check your position. Now, if you want, that hand can go a little further away. We're going to rotate, straighten the arm under, dropping that right shoulder. And then bring it back into just neutral. Yeah? Do it again. And you can determine how far you go. The roller shouldn't break your wrist, right? This goes towards it. And bring it back in. And most of the weight's on your legs, right? So you shouldn't be feeling like you're overdoing the arm. Feel that nice stretch there. And then bring it back. Roller straight ahead. You can sit back on your heels or stay in a crawl. We're just going to go into that um, shell stretch. So I'm going to go sideways so you can see what I mean. So we're going to roll the roller out. And I want you to stay off of your heel. So I'm going to sit all the way back. And then we're going to pull it up into that mad cat position, right? Hands under shoulders. Lengthen back out so it's our extended cat. And then we're flexing it up like the mad cat. Roll it out, tail over heels. And then pull it back up, up, up. One more time. And we're going to come all the way up. Roll it out. Pull it all the way up. Bring your roller foot on its end. <laughs> One foot in front. Adjust the roller. It's kind of in the center, like I put my sternum there, right? So I have my right left leg forward, my right leg back. So I'm just going to lunge forward, and the roller's just my balancing. Hip flexor stretch. Breathe. And then come back. Do that again. Should feel really good on that back leg hip flexor. Squeeze the booty, pull the pelvis forward a little bit. And then bring it back. If your knees don't like that, you can hover it into like a standing version. My knee's okay with it. It's a deeper stretch for me now. Breathe. Come out of it. And one more time. Bring it down. And then come back to both knees. Sit on your heels, cross-legged, or sit back, whatever works for you. We're just going to lift that arms overhead like we started the workout and see how it feels to you. So I want you to reach the hands up and then up overhead. Pull your shoulder blades down, reach up to the sky, and bring it down. Spine is neutral. All right, so reach the arms out, pull the shoulder blades down on your back and you come up. And then give me one more of the like little slice to the side, and up, to the side, and up, and then bring the roller down. And y'all, that is a short and sweet foam roller workout that should have gotten all 
parts of the body. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.